It's December 5th, 2054. The world has been overtaken by bots. I'm one of the few hundred left on Earth. It is up to me and me alone to continue civilization. Just kidding. Uh, I'm here in the woods. Like I'm on my four-wheeler and I'm gonna go cook some scramby egg and bacon. It is December 5th and it is super cold out, but uh, I figure I'll make a woods meal out of it. So come along with me, let's go. All right, really quick, I got off the bike. I just wanted to show you guys the scenery. Check this out. I'm in Deerfield, New York. This is like a gully that cuts up through a, a wooded area and there's water. There's my bike. We came down from down here. So uh, now I just got to figure out how to get into this water. There is a steep slate wall. If I follow the creek up this way, and it looks like you're in Alaska or something. It looks like you're not in central New York at all. Super cool. So we're gonna try to make our way there. Okay, we made it. We're in the water. Now, straight up that away. Such a pretty place though. Just hanging on to this. We have arrived. This is what we call the slate wall. Uh, the viewfinder really doesn't pick up its majesty, but it's a super high, super steep wall in the middle of like this canyon area just outside of the city. It's really cool. So we're gonna cook up some food and uh, eat. Let's get to cooking. Here's the problem. It's been raining for like two months here in upstate New York. So we don't really have all that much kindling until I just noticed this. It's pretty dry. It's about as dry as we're gonna get. Some of this inside stuff I could probably utilize. And then we'll get a fire going with all this stuff. Oop. So if you're asking yourself, what is he using to start that fire with? And you think it's toilet paper? You're correct. Uh, it's what I brought with me for a fire starter. How do YouTubers do it? Everything is legitimately soaking, sopping wet. I should have brought my own wood.
All right, so here's the bacon. Place my stupid spatula. Ooh, flash cooking. No burn action. Almost forgot to add some cashews and almonds. My girlfriend's head is the shape of an almond. There we go. There's the bacon and eggs and almonds and cashews. The bacon is burnt. The cashews came out good. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, crooked. Yeah, that bacon is burnt. That bacon is not good. But, you know, the eggs aren't good either, but, oh, no, I think it was a success. It was cold earlier. Now... Well, I'm away from the fire now, so now I'm starting to get a little cold. But I was um, hot running around here. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure <clears throat> I'm eating some dirt as well. Dirt is good for you. It's good for your immune system, I read. You ruined that bacon. That's okay. It's good. I'm grateful to have this food. Winter's coming here, and uh, there's some decent bacon. I'm making that burnt. Squirrels are watching me drop these almonds. <laughs> Usually I could deal with burnt bacon, but <clears throat> this bacon right here is... What are you going to do? You know, that brings me to my next point. Um, excuse me. Uh, life's not always going to hand you lemons. You know? Sometimes it's going to... I mean, life's not always going to hand you lemonade. Sometimes it's going to hand you lemons. And what you do with those lemons is most important. I think the moral of today's story is. For me, um, if life hands you lemons, make lemonade. You know? Everybody says that. I'd say if life hands you lemons, make lemonade and pee in it and give it to the people you don't like. Or you know, do whatever do whatever you want with it. It's your lemonade. I'm going to drop more cashews. I picked so far probably four ticks off of me. And I realized that this is all raw egg on this board here. Yeah, today I got salmonella and Lyme disease. And I ate burnt bacon. But it is what it is, you know. Make the best of what you got. I think that wraps it up for today. And I think uh, I'm going to head on back to my family. I have two boys and a lovely lady who has stood by my side through all the bacon burning. And that's a metaphor. All right. Well, hey, little squirrels. 
we gonna wrap it up here because my nipples can cut steak and uh i'm gonna pack up i'm gonna head on out of here head on home i do have some work to do back at the computer as well work for my jobby job so i'm gonna go ahead and uh whiz on this fire and uh i appreciate the 11 of you who watched this video and i'll catch you on the next one i don't know what i'm gonna do in the next one i'm gonna do something maybe i'll involve my kids or something something fun like that anyway thanks for coming along i love you i'll catch you later well, that's good we didn't get far to go man that is good man i think that's good senor i think that'll do oh i forgot my teepee man okay i think we're about good yeah, buddy.